What's happening guys? I'm Curtis and you're watching Left Foot First. Alright guys, so for the last like week or so I've been working on this hand railing, but today is all about the car. So let's get the build table cleaned up and throw the chassis up on there and we'll uh, see if we can get done. These are the, the brackets that we got cut. These are all quarter inch thick plate steel. Um, they all got plasma cut out. Landing up at Trigger Industries did that. Um, the issue with plasma cutting is that it leaves a bit of a, leaves a bit of like an angle on them. They're not, they're not perfectly flat cuts. So, and also the holes aren't perfectly round. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all four of these brackets and we're gonna weld them all together and then grind everything flat and then gun drill all those holes. And that'll make sure that they're all the exact same. So when we bolt them up onto the rear end, they fit. So let's, uh, let's weld them together. Slight change of plans. I'm actually gonna drill them first before we grind them. That way if they come undone, we can just bolt them together with a half inch bolt. So let's, uh, yeah, that seems smart. much harder than expected. I guess I gotta fix my sander now.
I'm going to be fixing this tool anytime soon. All right, so that's the problem. Uh, this is the the main driving shaft for the the belt sander, and it's in two pieces. So that's what uh, made my belt go all wonky and wouldn't let it come into adjustment. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do without a belt sander, though. That's a that's a tough sell. So I'm going to have to figure something out. Um, Give me a bit of time to think on it. I think I'm gonna go load up the razor. We're going quadding tomorrow, so I'm gonna go load that up and then I'll come back with a solution right now. Uh, I don't have a good solution. Um, I looked into it. I can't get parts locally for that machine, uh, so I'm gonna have to order them in. But in the meantime, I do have a temporary stop gap. We borrowed this belt sander from Michael. It's uh, we used to use it over there to, to grind tungstens. It's just like a, a four inch by 36 inch belt, but we can at least use it to carry on making progress while we wait on the big one to get fixed. So let's, uh, let's plug this guy in, grab our axle brackets and keep trucking on those. We got, got them all cleaned up, they're ready to go. They're all the same size, same shape. Um, using that little sander is terrible, so I think I'm gonna go on a parts hunt tomorrow or the next day and try to fix that big one. Um, it's just way easier to use. But in the meantime, let's uh, center up this diff housing and then we can look at where these gotta go. battery's going dead so we're gonna have to call it a day there uh, we got one axle bracket tacked on with two baby little tack welds so there's obviously still a bunch of work that has to get done back here um, that whole sander fiasco really put us back a couple days so we'll have to carry this project into next week I apologize but that's kind of the way it's got to be um, yeah, so next week we'll try to get the rest of the axle brackets all on and even and straight and, and whatnot. And then, uh, then we can start working our way forwards on the suspension. But till then, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys next week. I'm out of here.